Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be creating a cute candle blowing birthday cake using basic HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript. So this is a very fun and easy app that you can code for your friends and family, and it doesn't take too much time. So without further ado, let's get coding and have some fun. In our final product, we want to be able to take in the username and also the number of candles they want. And when we blow on the candle, we want it to blow out. And we'll be using the device microphone to be able to do that. To create our pixel art for cakes and candles, we're going to be using pixelartcss.com. Here, uh, we store some of our candles and also cakes, and you can also create your keyframe animations right there. Um, for our access, we're going to have candle that blow out and also candle in their idle state and, of course, our cake. And to be able to insert that as CSS, we click the CSS button and we copy it from there. Let's create our index.html. Um, here we'll have our very basic structure, then we'll create our CSS file. And this is where we paste whatever we had from the website. And for each asset, you should have a keyframe and also the class name. Great. Let's connect our CSS to our HTML. We also want to be able to use our own fonts, so we're going to use Google Fonts. And I'll show you how you can do that so that you can use a different font if you like. First, let's go to fonts.google.com, select a font you like, and get embedded code, and just copy that. Great, now let's move on to our body. We are going to need a div, a rubber container, and inside we want to have our text div, and we also want our cake div. And this is where we're going to add our candles and cake. To be able to do that, we need to write it in JavaScript. First, we want to have parameters in our URL. We want two, that is either the name and also the number of candle count. And um, the candle count maximum number, we want it to be 30 because that's the maximum that can fit on the surface of our cake. And let's get our birthday tax div. And then we're going to add to our inner html of our birthday text div using our main title that says happy birthday using the name or if it's not then we're gonna have it as friend and we're gonna have a subtitle that says make a wish and blow candle now let's add our css for that and next up we're going to work on our cake we're gonna get our cake using the ID and we'll have four different candle colors. So we're specifying their CSS names right here. And we want to set our cake's visual width that is 35. Initially is 64 into 64 pixels, but only 35 fits. So we're going to use 35 because of that. And we're going to have our cake in our HTML as empty for now and we're gonna have our candle visual width as two each and we want to set the available width as the candle visual width and each row we only want six candles and we calculate the row count using our data And we're going to loop through our count. And for each candle, we're going to 
create an element div and we're going to add our class name candle and also we're going to randomize the color of our candles and also add the color class of the candle depending on what color the candle is. And we're specify the row and column of each candle and we add our row spacing and also um, we want to see how much from the left we want to have our candles in. This is just like basic adjustment so that the candles look good on the cake and they are nicely adjusted. And finally, we're just going to append our candle as a cake child and we call the function. If we try to run this right now, this is what we have. And to do that, we have to use our live extension. And this is where you can download that. This is the most exciting part of our app. We're going to be working on the microphone and blow detection. So very first thing we need to do is write a function where we have to ask the user permission to use their microphone. Nice. And now we need to have our um, audio context that we have to initialize using our WebKit. So this is basically a web API. And we need to have our source, that is our microphone audio stream. Then we need an analyzer to analyze our audio. And 512 is basically 256 frequency around that. And we connect our source to our an analyzer. We are going to need a data array to store our audio and we do that by detecting blow to see if it's a blow or not. We need to have a formula. So here we're going to use a constant high frequency, low frequency, and we're going to see if the high frequency is greater than the low frequency. That is because when we do a blow, then it creates a spike in the frequency. And this is our logic for this app. We're just calculating our high and low frequency right here. And we're just going to compare that. And this is our threshold. And we only want to blow out our candles if we detect it as blow. And if not, we're going to throw an error that we don't have access to the microphone. Nice. Now let's write the function for blowing out candles. So we select our candle classes and for each candle, we want to set a random delay so that it gives a more realistic look and not all the candles blowing out at the same time. And this is to change the subtitle after we have blow it out, we say yay, like wishing the happiest birthday ever. And we initialize our start mic detection. And if we run it, there we go.
Hey, if you're seeing this video, you made it to the very end of the tutorial and you made this amazing birthday cake for um, your either friends or your family, uh, someone you love, and I hope you really enjoy it. And if you find this helpful, please leave a like and subscribe, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye for now!